Chloe Alliang is a British supermodel who claims to have been taken and put up for auction on the deep web. Oh, she arrives at a that? sketchy studio in Italy only to be jumped from behind. A hand comes from behind onto my neck. Eventually they tackle me to the floor and the syringe goes in and that's when it all goes black. I want to buy a human infant. I will pay any price. Must be re reasonable. What? God or the vine. Yeah, God or the vine. I Dark Knight Gang and Stank Gang Gang. Today I'm about to do a video titled 10 Dark Web Videos You Should Never Watch. This is about to be fire. I'm in the clouds. You already know what it is. I hope all of you guys had a great day today. I did. I hope you did as well. Bro, I started playing this one game on PS5 called Ghost of Ghost of Tsushima, Ghost of Tsushima, something like that. Anyway, I bought it yesterday. It's fire. I've been, bro. I've been getting faded playing that video game for hours. Well, I did it yesterday since I just bought it yesterday. I can't wait to do it today. <laughs> anyway, let's hop into this video. 10 dark web videos you should never watch. Yeah, yeah. Everybody have a great day. I love y'all. Y'all already know what's up. Shout out to the gang. Live life, love life. Y'all my boys. And if you're a woman watching this, you my girl. Let's hop into this video. They say you can find anything on the dark web. Though why you would want to find any of the things mentioned on this list is beyond me. Number 10. This 11 minute video has been making rounds on the dark web for a while and has only recently come to the surface. In it, something human shaped wrapped in garbage bags is taped up and kept in various strange poses in a chair, at the bottom of steps, and so on. Every so often, a man with a bag over his head comes in and fusses with the strange object. At one point, he even tries to give it food in the bathtub, despite there being no mouth hole. Towards the end of the video, he puts the object onto the kitchen counter and begins to carve into it. This what? video was filmed in black and white and has many different artistic camera angles. The dark web is full of many videos like this, but I guess every once in a while you could be looking at someone who is really acting out their twisted fantasies on a real person. <laughs> For all we know, this could be the aftermath of a Red Room video. Facts. Number 9. That last one, bro, that could be so many. You know what came to my head? That guy is insane. He couldn't have any children, right? So, he can't have a, a, a child, a companion, I don't know. It's something with a companion, obviously. He couldn't get married, a child, whatever. So, anyway, he wrapped a baby doll in that plastic and made it look like a companion. And that's how he's dealing with his loneliness. That's what I think. Let me know what you think down in the comments. A YouTuber named Surviving Life finds a dark web sub forum dedicated to the most disturbing content imaginable. I can't even show you most of the thread titles, let alone what's in them. Ooh, but I'll put it like this. The people here are looking for stuff that would easily get your d You see what that you see what that says right there? Let me get out the way. I want to buy a human infant. I will pay any price. Must be re reasonable. What? Something else says stop this torture. The best part about something dogs is that there are endless ways to go about it. Wait, whoa, this is weird. Surviving life comes across one thread in particular that easily tops them all. I want to buy a human infant. I will pay any price. I don't know exactly how this crazy, person expects right? to buy an infant or how much a reasonable price is. Thankfully, Surviving Life does not click on the link to find out. I did notice it seems to have 14 replies though, which leaves me with a terrible sinking feeling inside. You might think all of these requests are fake, but apparently Surviving Life has seen versions of this website before. Okay, and the name of this site is so infamous and the people on it this isn't the first time they've put a site together like this. This is this is a system where these sites go up, they go down, the contents move. And provides us with some more insight about its long history. 
He soon grows too That's disgusted of, with all of humanity and logs off ring. for the day. I think that the website is probably 100% real, but I would like to get your opinion based on this video I'll evidence real, shown too, here. Sure. Number 8. This grainy black and white video was supposedly taken back in 1999 when the internet was still in its early stages of development. A woman has apparently been chosen against their will for a red room show, which is where people make suggestions as to what should happen to her next. Kind of like a more interactive version of the movie Saw. She is clearly in distress, though I'm not sure if this is real or just acting. <laughs> This scene seems realistic enough to make me uncomfortable, but I'd like to get your opinion as to what is going on here. She could be a paid actress, and this could be from a movie for all I know. True. We may never discover the real answer unless more of the video surfaces from the deep web. That's completely facts. We would never know. So allow your imagination to take hold. All right, bro. I think that's a woman being tied up against her will who is being constantly assaulted for like the person's pleasure. Whenever they come home, they had a bad day, they go to her and they just, ah! Ooh, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Number seven, another <laughs> supposed <laughs> red video dark. shows a person wearing a large hood over their face, looking down at the floor. I think the room is in pitch black and this was taken with night vision. After more than four minutes of uncomfortable silence, a man dressed in all black with gloves on wakes the person up and begins talking. Try to translate what is being said here if possible, so that we can better tell what is really going on. Where are you headed? Where are you headed? I don't know, I just drive back. Whatever is said appears to send the hooded man into a great amount of distress. I notice that a voice changer is used, which makes me think this video could be real. After all, whoever is involved would want to go to great lengths to keep their identity concealed. I'm not sure what happened next, but based on the overall tone of this video, I doubt this person made it out of the room in one piece. Number 6. A YouTuber named Amir returns to the dark web after getting many requests from his followers to do so. The first thing he finds is a strange collection of texts promoting superhuman abilities through special muscle exercises. Overall, the detailed instructions sound really complicated, futuristic, and weird. Then at the bottom, Amir comes across a strange date of publication that leaves him scratching his head in puzzlement. He grows tired of reading the mountain of text and comes across this creepy dark website next. It's nothing more than a still photo of a man with huge black bags under his eyes, staring you down with a knowing grin. I don't <laughs> recognize the photograph from any place, but I would like to know if you have. I am not making this up. <laughs> this is literally the page. There is apparently a secret place on the page you can click to proceed, but Amir can't find it and moves on to the strangest dark web discovery yet. Kidney for sale. Shoes price negotiable. Buyer pays for all travel, accommodation, and surgery costs. There are pages upon pages of organ donors looking to sell their guts for some quick cash. Based on the outrageous demand for organ donors and the long waiting list to get one, I have little doubt that this message board is real. The listings are quick, to the point, and highly detailed. I definitely think that's real as well. Of course. People sell their organs all the time. You know they do it in the back. You know they do it the back ways as well. They don't pay. They just go and they kidnap people and they harvest their organs. So, oh, for sure that's real. Right, number three. Chloe Alliang is a British supermodel who claims to have been taken and put up for auction on the deep web. Oh, she arrives at a that? sketchy studio in Italy only to be jumped from behind. A hand comes from behind onto my neck. Eventually they tackle me to the floor and the syringe goes in and that's when it all goes black. She wakes what? up in the trunk of a car zipped inside of a black bag, take her to a secluded room and finally oh. reveal her fate. He says, you've already been put up for sale. They put you up for sale. Yeah. Where? Uh, on the dark web. This is where the story gets kind of weird. 
She says that after six days, her captives did not want any money and felt bad, so they let her go. I guess this is possible, but when one of that the men was weird. eventually caught, he said that she told him to do it as a way for her to get famous. Some people oh. also say she does not look sincere in her press statement. The I think she is probably telling the truth, but I'm not really sure what to think at this point. Number two. The plot twist on that one, bro. I thought it was true. What if it's not? I can see people trying to do something like that to get famous. You know, fame go to people's heads. They'll do what it takes. You feel me? Dang. Let me know down in the comments. The baby girl set that up or is it true? Let me know what you think. A That's YouTuber crazy. named Zer John pokes around on the dark web. Soon he finds himself reading some extremely bizarre tutorials that leave him stunned. Okay. He's like tutorials on how to like eat people. What the cooking. F? It's like it's a regular thing for these people. Look at this. A whole article on how to, you know, do that. I Makes don't sense. think Zer John would ever do anything like this himself. Of but as not. I watch his curious reaction to the materials, I can't wonder too. how many other people have been actually introduced to this in exactly the same manner. Number 1. Kenneth Freeman began filming himself doing horrible things with his daughter Vicky sometime during the 90s. These terrible videos grew worse and worse for well over a year. As he became more elaborate and sadistic, he was sharing them online the entire time for many years. Vicky did not feel safe enough to report what was done to her for four years at the age 14. Her father fled all the way to China, but he was discovered and taken to trial one year later. He was sentenced to 50 years behind bars. Sadly, the Vicky series continues to be traded online to this day and has become infamous among dark web sickos everywhere. It's disgusting to think how people are still finding pleasure in her grief all these decades later. But as long as the dark web continues to exist, there is little that can be done. All right, bro. Great video. Thank you guys so much for requesting it. I hope everybody had a good time. I had a great time. You already know what it is, bro. Shout out to the gang. Everybody have a great night. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. Start leaving reaction requests. Let me know the videos you guys want me to react to. Since I only do about three per day, I need you guys to give me more uh, requests. You know what I'm saying? And start leaving them more often so I can know what you want to see me do. But anyway, everybody have a great night. I love y'all. Live life. Love life. You already know what's up, man. I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace.